Saving Your Wednesday Wonderers, we're going to be talking today about helicopter seeds and why they have the shape that they do. Now those helicopter seeds are those seeds that have one single blade and when you throw them up in the air they spin around catching the wind and they twirl all the way down kind of like reminds you of a helicopter. We have a special word for this that we're going to use for the rest of this video and that's a samara. So that type of seed that has that blade that catches the wind, spins it around, we call them helicopter seeds, we're going to say Samara for the rest of this video. And these Samaras, what they're doing, they're acting as a type of seed dispersal. So most of our plants out here are going to have to try and do some seed dispersal. That's when the little seed tries to get away from the adult plant. They try and get further, they try and spread far. And one of the ways that they do that is using the wind. Now, why would a plant try and get away from its adult plant? This is especially important for those trees, which is what we're mostly gonna be talking about here. So these trees are huge, and adult trees gonna have a really tall trunk. They're gonna have big, broad uh, branches that are gonna catch up all of that light. They're gonna have very deep roots that are gonna get up all the nutrients and, and water in the soil, and a little seedling is just not gonna be able to compete with that adult plant. Even if it's its parent tree, it's not going to be able to get the sunlight that it needs. It's not going to be able to get the nutrients and the water in the soil because that big adult tree is going to suck it all up. So seed dispersal is when that seed tries to get away and find a new spot where maybe they are going to get enough sunlight, where maybe they are going to get enough uh, space in the soil for those nutrients and that water. And wind is a really great way to do that, especially for our trees that are so tall that they can have more access to that really strong winds up above. Here I've collected a few of these Samaras. These came from a box elder tree, which we have a lot of them all around our waterways. Uh, a lot of our Samaras come from your, all of your maples, which we have a ton of different types of maples, ash trees also form these Samaras, but then also some elm trees have a little bit of a different shaped Samara, but they all have some type of blade like this that's going to catch that wind and it's going to spin it around. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. When you've got some Samaras in your hand, you get a whole bunch of them, and you're ready to start twirling them, what you don't want to do is throw them at the ground. What you want to do is you want to give them space to catch more wind, more space to twirl around and hit the ground. So what you're going to do is you're going to throw them up in the air and then watch them twirl down. When you go out on your Samara hike looking for helicopter seeds, make sure that you look up. So lots of our ash trees are just going to be dropping those helicopter seeds. And even though our maple trees like this box elder should have dropped all of their seeds way back in early summer, they might still have some holding on. So take a look at those maple trees as well. On your Samara hike, you may also choose to look for other types of seeds that are wind dispersed, like this very silky milkweed. going to make a helicopter seed out of paper and a paper clip. So all you're going to need is some paper, scissors, a paper clip, and I'm not even going to use the scissors, so that's up to you. But you're going to just make a long thin strip, maybe no more than two inches wide. nice long strip of paper. You're going to fold it in half long ways, kind of like that hot dog fold. You're also going to fold it in half short ways. And then you're going to very carefully cut or tear halfway down the middle. So that you've got one helicopter blade over here, one helicopter blade over here. And then just like on that seed, the weight's on the bottom. So we're going to slide that paper clip on the bottom. 
and we'll see how it works. All right, well, thanks for joining me this week. I will catch you all next time.